Welcome to Robot Builder, Cognation's Robotic Simulator. Um, well, as you can see, welcome to Robot Builder. We're just looking at the welcome screen here. Get your news, updates, deals, anything uh, that might be happening, recent files, sample files, if there's anything there. Um, so we'll just actually close the welcome screen and just get started uh, in the standard way. So what we'll do first is we'll open up the starter kit, which is the National Instruments uh, starter kit robot. And you can see it here. And it's very empty compared to the sim, but of course we're dealing just with robots and no environments with Robot Builder. And just like the sim, you can manipulate, move things around, you can scroll in and out with your mouse wheel, look right and uh, left, or left and right with your mouse. If you hold down the Alt key, while holding Alt, if you right click and move your mouse left and right, you'll rotate around the robot. And that's the same general uh, controls as the robot sim. If you're familiar with those, you'll be uh, right into Builder in no time. So one of the first things we'll do here is uh, we'll, we'll basically add some components to our our uh, starter kit to make it a little more interesting. But first, what we'll do is actually open up the Explorer. And what we're going to do is resize this window a little and dig deep down inside here. You can see this is the servo, which will spin the uh, the parallax sonar. So what we want to do is actually find that sonar. And right here is the gear of the servo. And now the gear is the actual uh, mechanism that rotates from the servo. And here's the ping. Uh, the parallax ping is simply the sonar. Well, in this case, we've decided sonar is not good enough. So we're just going to uh, hit the delete key. Uh, you can also do that by going to edit and cut. Uh, in this case, we'll just hit the delete key, so we'll select it, make sure it's selected, and hit delete. And now we've gotten rid of that uh, that sonar. So what we want to do now is replace it with something more interesting. So we'll go to our active components menu, and here's a webcam in our sensors. You can see there's also a laser scanner and, of course, the sonar that we just deleted. We could add multiples of those if we felt like it. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag the webcam on. Now, if you just drop it, it kind of just puts it into the scene. You can see here it's it's a little awkward. You're not quite sure where it is, how to line it up. So we're actually going to do is undo that and undo the creation. Instead of just dropping it on the scene, what we're going to do is drag it over to the gear. So we'll just drag it all the way over into the Explorer window and drop it on the gear. And you can see now it's actually centered exactly on that object. Now, of course, it's still within, you get a bit closer, you can see it's still actually kind of jammed into the robot. So all we have to do is drag up, oops, sorry, grab the robot there, just make sure you select the webcam, and then drag up, and there we go, perfect. So now the webcam is mounted on the servo, and we have a camera image, and you can see a rough preview of where that image would be. Of course, you can always change the settings of the camera, very large field of vision for that, of course, and you can change those camera settings as well if you like in the properties. But what we'll actually show in the properties is something a little more important. So right now, this this webcam is actually going to do nothing um, because there's no actual robot connected to it. Now, it's physically attached as an object, but it's not actually active just yet. The last step in an active component is to go into the properties, in the properties window right there again, and under device settings, select the robot that you wish to connect it to. Uh, in this case, it's going to be the same robot that we have actually physically connected it to, but you could also connect it to a different robot uh, if you wanted to simulate some sort of Bluetooth connection, for example, with other active components. But this is a pretty straightforward example. And so we're just going to select NI Starter Kit. And now we have our NI Starter Kit robot with a webcam. And we could put this into Robot Sim, and our webcam would be up and running. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this. And we'll just save this as, uh, we'll go with uh, Starter Kit Webcam, nice and simple. And the R build is the Robot Builder file, and these can be put right into the simulator. Okay, so that's a very quick rundown of how to attach active components. Just never forget the device settings, you always need to set that, that connected robot. Okay. So in the next step, um, what we're going to do is uh, just add a couple more pieces here. So you can see here we have other uh, servos we can add. Um, 
I'll actually put another scanner on. I always find it's it's easiest to control my robots when I have more sensors, of course. So here we're just going to uh, we'll center this, this laser scanner on the robot itself. So I'll just grab the, the scanner and I'll drop it right on the starter kit. And right now it is actually selected. So I'll just pull it up. It was actually inside, a little hard to see. Now we want to make sure that this uh, this laser scanner is going to be decently positioned. Don't worry too much about the circuit board. It's not going to actually short out if we plop a device on it. So we'll set it about here. And now we have a webcam and, and a nice laser scanner. So let's just rotate. I'm going to hold down Alt again and just drag the mouse here. You can see the webcam's field of vision. And I'm going to select the laser scanner again. And as you can see here, I've only selected a cylinder of it, so what I'll have to do is go into here, and here's the laser scanner, so make sure I'm moving the proper object, and just line that up really nicely. Okay, and we're almost done. The very last step, of course, is to open up device settings and set that to the NI starter kit. So now we have a laser scanner and uh, a webcam, which is still here, and they both have the NI starter kit, as you can see in the property set to the uh, to the robot that is in the scene, which is just the starter kit. So we'll save this as well, and well, I guess I just saved over the webcam version, but that's fine. Um, so we can also go save as and save a special one. Uh, we'll call it webcam laser. Sorry, my names aren't the most creative you could possibly imagine, but seem to be functional anyway. So we have a webcam laser robot, and we could get data from those in the sim, and we could control a robot based on all that uh, extra information.